Hello guys, thanks for watching. Adrian here from Mapsid. So um, in this short video, I will uh, create a new Django project from scratch using the, um, the usual uh, commands and the CLI provided by Django. And once the, the project is, uh, is built, the, um, the minimum uh, code base is built, I will install um, a modern uh, UI kit on top of the um, uh, default uh, Django admin UI which is great but sometimes might um, might uh, we might need more in our projects in order to impress a customer or just to have a better design in a, for our project so the ui uh, can be visualized using this link it's provided by a creative team uh, the, the design has a lot of widgets uh, a lot of pages, components, uh, dark mode, also looks super nice, uh, authentication pages. So um, in case anyone wants to replace the default Django UI, uh, this library uh, might be a big choice. Let's uh, uh, start the, the demonstration and uh, um, see how it goes I will create the a new directory I will use uh, VS code to, um, uh, to launch the, the code editor here we need to create a virtual environment uh, install Django create a new project inside the directory using the Django CLI and uh, later um, uh, install the team so the I will uh, copy paste the commands from uh, from an existing article on uh, on our blog. So just to speed up things, once the virtual environment is uh, is uh, created and activated, the next step is to install Django, of course, because it's the um, it's the core core library for for this uh, project. Once the Django is installed, we need to um, uh, call Django admin uh, script using the star project uh, argument and uh, the core of the of our project uh, is uh, is created automatically. Uh, migrate command uh, just create and apply the necessary changes on the database by default for the commons by default Django comes with an SQLite database. So uh, it's just this small file here created by Django with some uh, minimal uh, tables that we need to have a up and running and usable uh, Django project. Once the um, once the application is uh, is created, we can uh, access browser, start the application, and we will see the the default uh, splash screen provided by Django. Um, let's uh, create a super user. Super users are just like the root users for Unix. Um, if you have a super user account, you are able to edit other users, uh, delete, uh, create new users, and uh, uh, have full power over your uh, Django application. So uh, I will create a new account. Cool. So account is created. I will uh, start a server and uh, access the. Um, uh, administrator module of course Django uh, requires um, your credential in order to authenticate so uh, I will uh, use the um, account that we just created a few seconds ago so the, the UI looks nice in my opinion it can be used in without issues uh, but uh, in case you you want more, uh, we can use this uh, free product. It's super easy to 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 get the, the design up and running, as we can see in the 
following minutes so basically you just need to use pip to install the um, uh, material dashboard design from uh, from a wi-fi uh, uh, directory now the library is, is installed uh, the next thing is to copy this line into your uh, into the project settings uh, and it's quite important to put it on before uh, Django contrib admin just to force the application to use the um, uh, our design this new design instead of uh, the default uh, admin UI so uh, let's go to the core directory open up the settings file and uh, in the installed apps section uh, let's save this line as the the first one this is all we need to do in order to use the uh, the product now we just start um, the application and refresh the page so we can see that the um, uh, the layout is much better we have uh, all the new components here and also the dark mode and the um, light mode uh, so the um, UI looks much much better so guys thanks for watching feel free to use the product is released under the MIT license so you can use it in your commercial projects or simply for e-learning activities in case anyone needs support uh, feel free to access AppSeed uh, and here we have a support page uh, send us an email or chat with us on discord we have a super nice community with more than 1000 members so uh, we are glad to help um, the product is under development with uh, and more feature will come uh, so feel free to use it thanks again for watching adrian here from AppSeed, and uh, as always i wish you all a super super day bye guys